the last thing I wanted to uh, talk to you about, and this is a new one, this is an interesting one. So we talk about in the book, Be More Wolf, about stepping into a higher and a better version of yourself. So in this moment, as I'm doing this video, in the here and now, I've got all of the past, not all of it, because I've cleared a lot of it, but I've got a lot of, um, a lot of negative self-talk, a lot of limiting beliefs that play out, a lot of what ifs, you know, what if this, what if that, what if, you know, <laughs> the, the film's fuzzy, what if there's too much noise, what if people don't watch this, what if people don't want to buy the book. I have all of that playing out in my head. So in the here and now, those are some of the things that are happening in my mind, in my mindset. So where within the conscious coaching reflective toolbox, I talk about stepping into a much cleaner, higher version of yourself. Now, for me personally, there are several aspects to that. One is about be more wolves, which I'll talk more about at another time, but that's much more about leadership, stepping out, leading. The other thing I talk about is embracing the divine feminine. It is about connecting to the divine feminine to create a better, more aligned version of myself. The woman who really, really thrives and who is able to get out of her own way. So one of the tools I use to do that is a tech of tarot cards and these tarot cards i can't remember the, the name of them for the life of me but they are based on the divine feminine there are 53 cards all are significantly different and what i do is i pull one card a day uh, then i research that card i have a look to see what her qualities are and then I journal around her qualities to really understand her, to understand how to connect with her, how to look at my own qualities and think about how can I embrace being more divinely feminine. It is a fantastic thing to do. It's a real eye opener. Sometimes it can be a little bit challenging, but I found this is a really, really great way to step step beyond who you are in this current moment and it really helps in terms of an educational piece in terms of that research piece finding out more about the divine feminine and how i can use that in the business and interestingly enough one of the cards that fell out of the pack the very first one that fell out of the pack it was a woman who was holding um, heads and I thought oh no <laughs> have I done the right thing here and it was quite powerful she basically her skill was to really let go of anything that wasn't serving her so I can then journal on anything that isn't serving me and let it go and step into and embrace her qualities more so whenever I've got that self-doubt playing out you know the um what if this what if that oh i'm not sure about that people aren't going to go for that oh it's too expensive all of that bullshit that comes into my reality my thoughts i can take a step back and have a look at her and think about okay how would she deal with this how would she deal with what is going on what is playing out in my head so she's saying let go of anything that doesn't serve you well none of that serves me not one single bit of it serves me so i can just drop it i can let it go of course i have to work on it consciously and i have to clear it in different ways but this is a really great way to journal on stepping into another reality stepping into another perspective and another way of seeing things admittedly yes this is a little bit woo woo for sure but woo woo is good <laughs> I just think of it as acting you know if you um 
if you were learning a script, you would be standing in a different character. This is all this is. It's, it's helping you to step into a space that you want to embrace moving forward, a space where you want to feel more comfortable. You want to feel more aligned. You want to be a better version of yourself. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> she says trying to convince herself but you know when you want to get out of your own own way step beyond the bs that is playing out in your head step beyond the trauma the conditioning the whatever it is that is is playing out in your reality is this is a fantastic way to move beyond what you see now and to create a completely different perspective on the way that you can see things and yeah as i said some of it is a bit challenging i pulled one card the other day and i was like oh have i, really, have I got to really do that <laughs> but a tremendous amount of resistance but i was like actually yes you do have to do this because this is what you want more of, but the whole fear resistance started to uh, started to play out big time so the tarot cards can act as a really great um, I'm sure I've got the word I've got the image in my head but I can't compass that's what I was gonna say they can act as a really great compass they can act as a really great tool for helping you just to focus on something different to think about so i really really recommend this it's really really helped me think about you know what does define feminine mean what does it mean to me what does it mean to other women how do i need to embrace it how can i use it to lead better how can i use it to write the book from a more aligned place which is ultimately what i want the more aligned i am the more helpful it's going to be for the women i want to serve moving forward so what else have i got here yeah so do you have any prompts that you use in your for you to step out of yourself step outside of yourself help you make better decisions help you clear your mind you know if you've got stinking thinking negative thinking playing out how do you navigate what's going on let me know in the comments box below i would love to know what strategies what tools you use and i will see if i can find a link and pop so more people having cocktails how dare they <laughs> you think i'm joking or not i'm going to have to have a beer now and join them <laughs> Yeah, let, let me know, gorgeous. Until next week, V-blog number four. Oh, the good thing about these um, V-blogs is that they keep you on track. You have to do work, so it's a great way to hold yourself accountable. Until next time, beautiful. Take care.